very much. A multi-agency regional crackdown on organised crime is taking place in Ipswich. The aim to disrupt criminals who operate across county borders using the roads. Under the Prime Minister's new plans to target organised criminals, county lines and drugs, the number of disruptions like this one will increase by 20% in the next three years. 2,000 county lines will be dismantled using £300 million. The head of this regional operation says it is a realistic target for police. I think it's aspirational, which is what we should be working towards, but it's going to take a multi-agency response along with police forces working together collaboratively to deal with this sort of crime on our roads. The biggest challenges that we face is the intelligence around who's doing what, making sure that intelligence is fresh, making sure it's valuable. Over 100 vehicles possibly involved in crime will be stopped by teams from eight regional police forces. Checks will be carried out, including drugs testing, if police suspect they're being used or transported. One of the plans is that testing is going to be expanded upon arrest and individuals that are found to be doing or involved in drugs will be pointed by police towards relevant interventions. Do you feel that's your job or perhaps something more to do with healthcare? And how is this going to affect the work that you do? It's everybody's job to provide the recommendations and I think that's something that we've experienced over many years of dealing with county lines is the inability of one agency to deal with it in isolation. So in terms of what we're, we're trying to do and what the government's announced, then there's lots of opportunities for the government agencies to work together to deal with this issue. As part of the plans, when dealers are arrested by police, police are then able possibly to seize their phones and message their clients to try to discourage drug use. Do you think this could blur the lines between you taking uh, action on criminality and then becoming possibly complicit in it? It's an interesting one. Um, I'm not sure how that would work, but ultimately the responsibility of the police is to prevent and detect crime. So anything that we can do, new ideas that are preventative as well as that detection and that investigation of crime is welcome. During disruptions like this, police say the extra funding will help to break up organised criminals operating across different counties. They hope the new measures will help them clamp down on individuals, but also on larger scale organised crime over the next three years. Amelia Harper, GB News, Ipswich.